Hello everybody once again to more Pikmin 1. Hope your day is going good because we're going back to the Forest of Hope. Yeah, um, I promise I'll get to the, the, the Distant Spring in the next episode, but I think I'm confident that I can... <laughs> that's what a sentence. I think I'm confident that I can get both parts that are remaining here in one day. I have a strategy. And that strategy is called Call Out 100 Red Pikmin. Because <laughs> I think it's true for this game as well that Reds are the better fighters. So what I'll do first is just go... Ooh. Hello. <laughs> I'll go swarm them. Because I'm going to go take a look at the one with the cardboard box first. Okay, we did lose, geez, three from that? Huh. Well, that is interesting. Okay, now this is where things get interesting. That's what I thought was going to happen. Dude, get out of the water. <laughs> Come on. Okay. So I'm just going to dismiss them. And just kind of bring a few with me to scout out the area. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> really? <laughs> But even because it says that there's a part over here. Oh, okay. Hi. Oh, hey there. Hey there, Burrowing Snagret. How are you doing? Interesting. Oh, why are there two of them? Hold up. This was not part of the bargain. Okay, so what we're going to do is make a tactical retreat. And then throw more over there. Slowly move our forces over. Man, I wish they were just a little smarter. Guys, take it down. Oh, my God. 
Come on. Okay. So that is good. Oh, you can still reach me from over there. We're losing a few in this battle. It is all in the name of a part. Almost down. Cool. There it is. Geiger counter. Okay, every spaceship needs one of these, but I don't actually know what it is for. <laughs> every once in a while it goes wild and lets out a lot of noise, but I never pay much attention to it, so it doesn't seem, uh, doesn't do me much good. I really should read that manual one of these days. Yeah, um, oh, I already read this. Yeah, that's... you should probably know what a Geiger counter does if you need one in your work. It's primarily, uh, they're used for... I guess I don't really know why it's a primarily, but they're used for... Uh... Measuring radiation. <laughs> so... Yes, uh... <laughs> if it's going crazy... Uh, you might have some problems. <laughs> Come on, you can make it around the corner. <laughs> My goodness. So then let us go take care of this. So that, the, the, the two burrowing snaggerets took about half of the day. Come on, guys, catch up. So I will toss them up here. And then go around and get the, uh, go around here because I have to walk up through water to get up there. There we go. Hello. Can I hit you in the face? Okay. Um, I assume I can then hit you. Well, this is going excellent. This is going way better. <laughs> it's just dead. <laughs> um, anyone else? No, looks like the part's just over here. Okay. <laughs> that went way smoother than the burrowing snaggeret. It's plural. <laughs> Last, my radiation canopy. This turns the harsh radiation of deep, deep space into soft infrared rays that are easy on the body. I'll sleep like a baby once I get this back on the, sl on the ship. Yeah. Can I carry you back? I can. So I will need that to rebuild my red army that kind of got slightly decimated from the, uh, the burrowing snaggerets. So we got the Geiger counter back. So that's 14 of 30. Which means 15 more. Come on, guys. You can... Pikmin. Reds. Figure it out. I do hope that... Uh, well, they, 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 they fixed it by Pikmin 3, but I hope that in Pikmin 2 that the AI for the Pikmin is a little bit better. <laughs> Oops. 
Because at the moment it, uh... Leaves a bit to be desired. Also, I'm going to put... A bunch of reds back. So that way I can go grab a few blues and yellows so I can start. Because that should be all of the parts from this... Yeah, because they're carrying that one back. So that should be all of the parts from this location. I want three more just so that way we're not running into the problem of like this where they're getting sprouted. Okay. Hi, what are you doing? <laughs> and there's the second part. So that is two parts in one day, which is excellent. Hey, we finally have the little dome. Canopy. Fifteen of thirty. So I need fourteen more. Ugh. I don't have time for that. So it does look like things do slowly deteriorate over time. Hopefully they choose the correct path. So otherwise they'll get eaten. It really figure it out. <laughs> the pellet is right next to you. I thought I also sent them to go take the thing down. Jeez, that scared me. successful day to be honest we defeated what I would assume are two like quote-unquote mini bosses and we greatly expanded our Pikmin numbers also collected two parts it's not sure how much more you could, you could ask for Trying to upgrade some of them. Using the grass around here. Pulling up the grass to find nectar, which they then consume and turn into flower pigment. Because that is one thing that I never really worried too much about. I do have all 100 in my party. That is lovely. Uh, but yeah, that is one thing I never worried too, too much about when I play. I'm just going to wait out here. Might as well put them back. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, I keep interrupting myself, dang it. <laughs> One thing I did not worry too much about in the uh, playthrough of Pikmin 3 we did on the channel was whether my Pikmin were flowered or not. And having played the, through the game to 100% completion now, a lot more conscious about getting flower Pikmin. And it seems that in this game, flower Pikmin are just... You, you lose them a lot faster because you have stuff like the fiery blowhogs that seem to blow off the flowers. Or even the buds. So yeah, that should be the Forest of Hope completed. Which is excellent because we got two parts in one day finishing it off in addition to expanding our Pikmin collection. <laughs> Pikmin collection. Which means in theory we have gained ourselves another day worth of spare time. So ten days since impact. Hope has begun to well up within me for the dolphin's repair and my own chances for a reunion with my dear family. Tomorrow I shall go forth with a new attitude and continue my exploration in a different region. I hope that fortune will smile upon me. It's interesting that fortune is capitalized. Huh. Oh, yeah, red's, uh... Red's a bit of a jump there, and I would assume that is because of the... The, uh, the armored enemy thing that we picked up. But I could be wrong. Anyways, that was a very successful day 10. We have 15 of 30 parts. Hey, look at that, we completed the area. So yes, we have 15 of 30 parts. Which means we're halfway to repairing the dolphin. Does it say how many parts I have? No, okay. I was wondering if, well not parts, but um... How many I needed. Because let's see, there's... How many here? Oh wow, that is a lot. So that is 10 parts. Three, so 13, 14. I think we needed... Is there 13 or 14 more parts that we needed? In order to move on to the next area, which I would assume is the final area. Hmm, interesting. Because here we have the gates that were in the back with water, and I have a feeling that is going to be either a story related or like a mini boss or something. Because I was not expecting, like, the, the Burrowing Snagger wasn't really expecting that one. And then there was a second one. <laughs> this is getting out of hand, now there are two of them. <laughs> I was not expecting the dual burrowing snagger and for them to have that much much health but we still took them down we did incur some losses but we gained way more reds than like to make up for that the armored thing was kind of a joke honestly i just kind of threw pikmin at it and died Here we had we have the, the the big spider. I don't know if they're called shaggy long legs because it looks a bit different here. But those things were ba were called shaggy long legs in the uh, in Pikmin 3 Deluxe, and they had a bit more hair. <laughs> so we have that, and then also two uh, other treasures in like the behind area where we blew down a gate, like, two episodes ago or something. So next time, I will probably head over to the Distant Spring. And get started there, because that's ten parts. I'm curious how large this area is. Looking at the little preview icon thing over there. It looks like the blues might be helpful. And yeah, I think you can see the landing area. The little triangle 
made out of circles thing there on the left. But anyways, thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Hope this was at least a little enjoyable, or if not, you know, relaxing. Something to put on the background and just... I don't know. <laughs> Listen to me ramble a little bit, even though I've not been doing that this much, as much this series, because concentration. Ooh, concentration. Okay, enough rambling from me. <laughs> Look at my time, I've rambled for like three minutes now. So, take care. Have a great rest of your day. I hope to see you next time. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye. Bye 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 bye